Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here after the rainy episode of last time around where we finally planted our crops, did some base building, some good work done in the last episode. We are picking up here. I think we need to go down uh, get some more food. Uh, we have a fair amount, but uh, we can always use some more. And I did go through a fair number of food items in the last episode. So, uh, we're going to take our cube van down. But I think I do need to get some more gas in it, because so it's pretty empty. So let's take this gas can. Speaking of food, we are a bit hungry right now, so we're going to have another bag of chips. I think we've had like five bags of chips just over the last episode. So yeah, thinking of going down to, let's make sure I have my hammer with us. I do, okay, good. Gonna go down to the trailer park where we had that alarm um, a few episodes ago back. Uh, let's get this filled up first. Hopefully the zombies have moved on since then. And there won't be too many down there. We're gonna go down there though, hopefully find some food, and we're gonna snag some floating cabinets for our kitchen, our future kitchen. So they are a lightweight container that still holds a lot of stuff inside. Always a good addition to a base. So let's head down, see exactly how many Zombies have repopulated the area. I'm sure this vehicle is going to cause a lot of ruckus and attract a lot of attention. But we're bringing it because it's got a lot of storage capacity. And it looks like there are still a fair number of zombies down here. We're just going to park, I think, just right here. And uh, we can put this gas can in the back. We have some junk back there. That's fine. We'll get our spear, just a plain old spear. Equipped both hands. Now, I thought... These zombies would be following us down. Yes, they are. Oh, this one's a fresh one. It's moving quite fast. We'll have to be careful here. This one lunge at us. We'll see how long this lasts without any attachments on it. We got quite a few over here by this trailer. Let's try and start picking them off. It looks like we got a few of them wearing camo shorts. I'm wondering if this is uh, just the type of zombies that spawn in the trailer parks. Must be. Nice one. Yeah, like more military boots. Hmm. It's almost like a militia type spawn here. Uh, this zombie's got something stuck on them, maybe a police baton. Let's get one of them over here. Yeah, looks like they're all wearing military boots. This one's got a knife or something stuck on them. Hand fork. Let's grab that. Military camo. More military boots. Yeah, that's good. I think that's a police baton in there. Oh, this one's wearing a, uh, a uh, American flag shirt. That's new. I don't think we've seen that before. 
Yeah, that's a police baton. Right through him. Let's grab that nightstick. Oh, took off the top of her head there. More military shorts. Two inside, one outside, a lot on the back fence there. Let's get this one. Alright, come on. Yeah, fall back. Take a beta blocker while we're moving away. And this one's got... Uh, Looks like it must be a knife in the shoulder. There we go. I want more of those. One hits. So we're going to clear this out first before we start going inside. This one's got another hand fork. Apparently a popular weapon in the early days. Let's grab that, because we always put those onto, uh, onto some spears. So still two in the bathroom there. And we got four back here. Spear might be breaking soon. I think we'll hear that door break. Oh, and this guy's got a uh, bandana and a skull shirt. That yeah, might be a cool one to take. Yeah, let's grab this. Or is that just what the rock shirt looks like? It's pretty banged up though. Let's take the head bandana. Not sure if that door is still in place. Looks like that group is moving around the corner. That's good. Nice kill. What's the condition on this now? Yeah, I don't know if these last any longer than the uh, the modded ones. Or if the modded ones last any longer than the uh, plain Jane ones. Right, they're still in there. Let's search these while they're preoccupied. Nothing. Let's get some water. I think I'll wait for them to break through there. Let's check this uh, one here. We got three on that trailer. So we got a dead survivor here. No gear on them. Some socks. Uh, let's grab this radio. Okay. That in there. Um, no. Well, uh, maybe we'll take the bath towel. I guess they increased the spawn of soap in the last patch that recently recently came out. Okay, so these are the cabinets that we want. Floating trailer counter. 37.5% chance of breaking, so maybe we can get uh, two or three out of this trailer park. We got one for sure, so we saw our yeah, carry load go up. Alright, let's drop these off. And it's getting late, 7pm. 
But yeah, look at this. They only weigh five. Super light, considering how much they hold. All right. Here we go, and we're a little bit tired, so we're gonna just sit here for a moment. Catch our breath. Weren't that bad. Okay, I saw one over there. We got three here. Let's work on getting this group cleared. Yeah, this guy saw us. Oh no, he didn't, just coincidence. All right, let's get our spear re-equipped here. How's our spear skill coming along? A little ways to go to level two. I wonder if the higher our skill, the more of these Stabs we get. Wonder how that works. Okay, uh, I am wearing jeans right now because you guys have said that uh, or pointed out that the run speed modifier is a little bit better than the baggy jeans. So we'll pick up a backup of those. I don't know bleach victim here. Two more floating cabinets. Uh, no food yet though. Rotten salmon. Okay, let's grab these. Or attempt to. Yeah, we got that one successfully. And we got those. Okay, four for four. Pretty good for a 37% chance to break. We should be able to finish off this side. There aren't too many on the other side of the road, so we might be able to get this whole trailer park searched. And four floating counters, pretty good. So we gotta search the bedroom still, and there might be uh, potentially some good stuff in there. Most likely not, but we should knock it off. All right, let's get our spear equipped. Oh yeah, and the bathroom. There's towels. Hammer, nothing else. Okay. Let's check this one out. I think we can get to this one without attracting those zombies there. Let's try the window. Alright, come on, there gotta be some food in here. Do we have a rolling pin yet? that. Nails. Ah, uh, more rotten stuff. We can take that for our compost bin, I guess. We should probably start picking up all this rotten food. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. It was a complete waste. We did get actually three cans of dog food. As depressing as that is, that will keep us going for a couple days at least. I'm gonna grab as many of these as I can. Yeah, weighs five, but still holds 50. Let's get our spear again. I have to be careful going back here. Doorknob. More towels. Ah, uh, yeah, there is one in here. Oh. That guy saw us. Alright. 
so I risk it. Just get out of there. Oh, he's, he's hot on our trail. Okay, let's drop off these cabinets. So that's uh, six total. None have broken. Uh, some ammo too. Nice. Alright, so let's uh, consider that side done. Let's check out this side. Is it just the two? Yeah, just the two. I think there's one floating cabinet up there. Uh, let's check this window here. Nope. Check the bathroom window around back. And we have the kitchen window as well, if this one fails. There's gotta be some good stuff in here if it's locked up this tight. One would hope. Some food. Let's grab this. Uh, another fridge, small fridge, not one of those counter fridges. I'm tempted to grab this too. So they don't hold very much. So once we get power going, uh, the more fridges that or the more mini fridges, the better. And the uh, step fan coming in handy here. Putting quite a bit of loot back in there. Okay, we'll take that. Let's fill up our water again. Uh, another padded jacket. Snag that. We have one back home. It's only the second one we've found. Cordless phone, we can dismantle that. And you know what? Um, I was going to say, while we're here, we could dismantle this TV, but I actually don't have my screwdriver with us. Okay, so that one's good. Let's get the last one here. Well, not a lot of food. We did get some food from the trailer park. Not as much as we were hoping for. Oh, another plunger. Okay. <laughs> we'll grab that. So the toilet paper, can you just use this the same as a tissue? Next time we have cold, let's test that out. And I might grab one of these cots. These stretcher beds. Have that as a, uh, a secondary bed in our base. Move our good bed to the house and then keep this in the, the warehouse where things currently are. Alright, so drop those off. Uh, we're a bit hungry. I don't have any antidepressants on us, so I think we'll have to hold off on the dog food. We'll have some canned beans. And I mean, we could rip down to the, uh, the rusty rifle. Possibly stay there the night. And then loot that. 
There's not much else though down this end of town. Let's go down. I'm not sure how they're not hearing us. I feel like we're uh, pretty loud. So we'll keep that on while I fight these. Help us see a bit better. A very slow zombie. Let's pull her a little bit further away from her friend. Is. I guess I could always run him over too. Let's take more beta blockers here. And you know what? Let's switch out to the uh, spear. Too. Yeah, we should be able to split them nicely here. There we go. That might be our our best car split so far. Okay, let's turn these off. Come on, hop in. So we don't drain the battery. Try inside here. I do hear some zombies. Um, you know what? Let's just sleep in the car. I have a feeling we might, oh yeah, and we're super exerted, so good call. We'll sleep in here tonight. Let's search this in the morning. All right, so, uh, no, don't want that. There we go. Doesn't look like there are very many, uh, if any, zombies outside near us. Be nice, well rested. Oh, all right, wake up anytime. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, get her in the head. Oh, missed it. Run over the head. Check out the rest of your rifle. Thankfully, she didn't feel like knocking on our window and scratching us through the door. So I feel like that definitely could have happened. You gotta be in the bathrooms, eh? Yep. That was a good swipe. Let's take a beta block here too. Preemptively. Make sure no one else is in there. Or 
are they behind the building? Okay, we're good there. Some more tissues, good. Oh, there we go, look at that. Painkillers, we've picked up one plunger for today, we're good. Uh, more fridges. Should we take all these? Beef jerky. You know what, we, we have the uh, step van, why not? Let's grab them both. Not losing anything by taking them. So it's a total of five mini fridges now. I feel like that's a, a good amount. Let's close this. Oh, nice. Shotgun shells and welding rods. Candle. Two candles. Okay. Oh, we are completely full here. Right, let's drop this bag off in the, in the car as well. Put this one on the front seat. I don't think I have any other bags. Oh no, I do. Let's take the duffel bag. Okay, so we're gonna check upstairs. Not expecting much, but there is a storage room up there. Could be something in there. Doubt there'd be any food. One right here. Probably just nails and yeah. Oh, but we got a screwdriver. And we will take the golf club. So I was uh, fairly impressed with the uh, effectiveness of the golf club last time. More of these stretcher beds. Let's just make sure we're clear of zombies. Good. No tenants today. All right, cool. That is cleared. Take a minute and mark that off our map. All the way down here, southernmost point of interest. Mark that off. Um, we have searched the trailer parks, which would be here and here, or there and here. Not sure. What is this supposed to be? Rest a restaurant and entertainment. What is that place there? I don't think we really have room for the pool table. Maybe once we get a second floor, we can think about putting something in there. Uh, let's quickly take a look at this. I don't think we have checked this car yet. Aha, some candy. And there's some antidepressants. And some some soup actually. I think that's the first canned food item we found in a trunk of a car. All right, let's get back home. I'm gonna drive by that location, that restaurant entertainment location.
I can't think of what that is. Is it just the cabin that's out here? It says it's right down here. What do you think that's supposed to be? Further down in the field. Hold on. Let's take a look. Honestly, cannot remember what's down here. Or is it just like a picnic area? I don't see anything down here. It's back in here. Yeah. I am not sure what that is supposed to be on the map. So, out here we can forage. This would be a good place to place traps as well. Not too far from home. Let's keep that in mind. Let's sprint back to the car because I think we're just going to go home now. Ready to stab someone. Last time we tried that didn't end up very well though. I think that's the furthest we've been able to sprint to. Okay. Well, let's get back home. We can put these cabinets in. Step by step, our home is coming together. The acceleration is painful in this thing. Painfully slow. Whoa! It stops pretty good though, the brakes are good. And up here. It does look like we've got more zombies in and around the base. Back this up to the fence. So we'll have to pull out actually all our, our bag first. Put that secondary. And grab probably all these cabinets. Or not quite all of them. It's quite a bit of furniture we grab though. Oh, actually, we're not going to be able to grab all of them. Come back for that. I forgot about the fence. Might still have too much. Yep. Okay. Um, equip that secondary. That's why. Okay, never mind. We can grab some of these. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, let's not risk um, going over the fence quite yet. We will get the cleaver out, I think. Okay, let's grab that. Okay, now let's get over the fence. Oh god, another one. Let's get over without being seen. Oh, two more. Come on. Still too heavy. Might have to drop these cabinets. It's too heavy. 
thought we could do it. But it's too much. And a little bit risky with these other zombies around here. There we go. Okay, um, let's see here. We gotta drop off all this food. We can drop off our rotten stuff in here. Rotten bread. Banana. And the rest of the stuff is canned goods and the beef jerky. Uh, let me drop off this stuff and then we'll come back and we'll put in those cabinets. There, that stuff's dropped off. We're a little bit rested now. Read a bit more of our trapping book. I think we are good. I got one across the street. One down there. I think we're good. They're coming up. Nope, they're not. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, so our floating counters. Let's snag those. All right, we'll do these first. So we'll unpack all four of these. So we can't put them above the windows, uh, but I think we'll have enough room otherwise to put these down. And I'm not sure, oh, we can put them in the corner there, okay. But we can only put them on those facing walls. We can't put them on these walls. It's unfortunate. So where else can we put them? Put them in there. We could put them... Well, I think we're going to do the staircase here. But we could back here. This is where the laundry's going. Keep clothes back here. Oh, let's unpack these ones. And yeah, we might have more than uh, we need. So we'll put two back there. Got a, a beam going through one. Uh, we could also put some in here, because we will need the place to store firewood. So let's put one above there. And yeah, we can do one on either side. That's where we can keep all the firewood for our stove. Alright, cool. So we'll get the fridges now. Um, I should probably... No, let's go clear out these zombies first. We can get that bag re-equipped. Yeah, is that one across the street still there? Yeah, all the way down there. Yeah, probably don't have to worry about her. Okay, let's get this re-equipped. Uh, secondary. Grab the fridges, grab our stretcher bed. And might as well take this toilet paper in too. Uh, that stuff can stay in there. Okay, we're going to put one fridge in here right away. Um, or we could do two. Yeah, let's do, let's do two. Do one in the kitchen, one by the uh, table there. So, we'll put... Oh, let's think. I mean, we can always move this. I think we'll put the uh, sink. We'll put the sink over here because we got the window here. So we'll put the sink there. 
probably means we'll put the oven over there maybe so we can put the fridge right here by the door and then we'll put this other one right there or behind this door stood on behind this door okay cool and then the other ones can go in our main building paper in here oh yeah and our stretcher bed too so yeah this one can just go on this side by our other one or in the corner here that's fine too now that works too Okay, so the stretcher bed. You know what? Let's just set it up in here. Go in between here. Alright. So, another episode down, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy our little looting run of the trailer park I think these floating cabinets were a good pick thanks for the uh, reminder for me to get those so yeah we'll have lots of room for food up top and then we'll have of course our countertops down on the bottom as well so lots of storage for food in there and I'll start moving some firewood into these containers here as well so yeah once uh once we eventually get to level six carpentry uh we will be ready to to move in here in earnest so yeah let me know what you think down below in the comments hit the like button if you enjoyed feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all the gnomus plays zomboid action and until next time I'll talk to you all later.